Project 74. The objective is simple. To climb the seven summits, the highest mountain on each of the seven continents, in under four months. If successful, it will be a new world record. <laughs> but that's a pretty big year. Success or failure, either way it's going to be a bit of fun. Along with a lot of suffering, but that's half the fun. This is the route that we will take. I'll start by heading home and spend Christmas and New Year's with my family in Sydney. Then, in the first week of January, the adventure will begin. I'll start by heading across to South America and continue straight on down to Antarctica, where I'll attempt the first climb, Mount Vincent. From Antarctica, I'll head straight back up to South America for the second climb, the highest mountain in the world outside the Himalayas, Aconcagua. From South America, there'll be a quick hop across the South Atlantic Ocean, around to Africa, where we'll head into Tanzania for the third climb, Kilimanjaro. From Africa, we'll continue on round over the Indian Ocean, back around to Australasia, heading deep into the jungles of Indonesia for the fourth climb, Kartens Pyramid. From there on, it'll be up into the Northern Hemisphere, initially round to Europe, where we'll head into Russia for the fifth climb, El Brus. From Europe, we'll head around to North America, heading right up into Alaska for arguably the hardest climb of them all, a winter ascent on Denali. With six mountains down and all going well, we'll then head straight back around to Asia. Heading back into Nepal, trekking into Everest Base Camp for the seventh and the highest mountain in the world, Everest. After a quick dash up and down Everest, it will then be heading straight back home, back to Sydney, for a very well earned beer. So please, follow my journey, share this story, and let's help support to not only prevent spinal cord injuries, but also find a cure for them. Thank you.